YouTube, it's your girl Nia, and I'm back finally with another video. With another video, can I get a round of applause? Yes, 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 yes. And today, you can already see the title of this video. I'm gonna make this video very short and very sweet and very to the point because you know that's what we like to see anyway. We're like we like stuff that's straight to the point. Like, girl, just let me know the secrets so I can go ahead and buy it and move on about my day. Okay, girl, I got you. So it all started like my sophomore year of high school where my hair was like i like naturally curly hair if you didn't know i mixed with like black and cuban so my hair is like naturally curly my hair is like no i wouldn't say like crazy long it's usually like mid like a little bit past my shoulder length but yeah so i decided that i wanted something for my hair i wanted my curls to be a little bit looser my sophomore year i was like you know what i like my curls but like they're very tight they're very hard to manage i wanted to get it like you know loosened a little bit bring out the little spanish curls a little bit right so i went to the dominicans and they can make irritant treatment all i'm gonna say do everything at your own risk but make sure you research before you put stuff in your hair i did research keratin and it did seem like it was like 100 percent safe and stuff but not every hair treatment is for all hair types even if they say it's for all hair types it's not so yeah when after i got my keratin treatment literally like my hair was nice like you know like she straightened my hair my hair was nice it was cute and everything but like after like a week when it came time for me to wash it out girl I'm gonna insert some clips of how my hair was looking back then. No, no, my hair was literally falling off in the shower, breaking, like it was just bad, like bad, bad. <laughs> so literally for the longest, my hair was like really short, really damaged, very uneven, you know, it really wasn't cute. So I started researching ways of like growing my hair back, like, cause you know, we're girls, hair does matter to us, unless you know, you're one of those you know walk the ball girl you know but anyway i was looking up like stuff to like help my hair grow and that's when i ran into these little hair tips that i'm finna show y'all today so make sure you like comment and subscribe and we finna get into how i grew my hair from this to this in a very very short amount of time it was a very short amount of time i'd say like all together it was probably like two years maybe even less than that it was like less than that i know it was less than two years because i constantly cut my hair like i just cut my hair just to cut it because i don't really like crazy long hair i like volume i'm not really like a length person but yeah so i'm gonna get into it and let's start with the first the first product that i used on my hair was this wild growth ignore my nails you know that's the only one that's messed up is this wild growth hair oil and literally i just like run this through like that's one good thing about having braids girl i have been soaking these roots in oil but anyway i literally just like run this through like my hair and stuff like i try to do it like every night or you know i'm very forgetful so i'm not gonna say every night probably like every other night like every two three days because i do forget i do forget everything's natural so yeah it's really good it helped my hair grow a lot and then I also tie that with this, which is the Virgin Hair Fertilizer. It comes in a box that looks like this. And I'll take it out for you. It's literally like, it looks like a little paste. It reminds me of toothpaste. But yeah, you just take it out and it comes out like, literally like toothpaste in a way. And then you just take it and just go along do your hair like i do i just rub it like on my fingertips like this and then i just rub it in girl rub it in rub it in rub it in and these two together crack 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 okay but the last thing that i use now the last thing that i use this probably is like the number one like grow your hair down to your booty type Psst. girl this little secret is rice water don't mind the little container that i have it in you know my friend made some up for me 2021 all i'm gonna say but yeah so 
we have the rice water. Literally all it is is organic jasmine rice in water. That's it. And it's literally like something I looked up and I did research on it and over in Thailand, women used to use rice water, probably still do. They use rice water from the crops and they put it in their hair and it's like a protein treatment that helps your hair grow. So me being me, I'm like, you know what? I have jasmine rice in my pantry. I have water in this thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a try. Literally, I started using this and within like two months, my hair grew so much. Like I'm not even joking. Like my hair grew a lot. Like I'm gonna insert clips like with like timestamps so you can see the difference. Rice water, rice water, girl. And this, how I use it, I literally, the same way that I use this, I have like this little syringe right here. Hold up. Cause it's too thick for me to spray it. So I take it and I use it in like a little syringe. And I just, the same way that I use with the wild girl foil, I just go through my parts and stuff. But you can also use it like if you wanna wash your hair. That's like how I mainly use it when I don't have braids. So after I shampoo my hair, I'll go in with like the rice water and I'll let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes and then I'll rinse it out and then that's when I go with my conditioner and then I finish up and all that stuff. But yeah, or you could just leave it and let it sit overnight. The only thing I will tell you, girl, girl, if you're gonna let it sit in your hair, you're gonna need like some type of essential oil. You're gonna need some type of peppermint oil, freaking lavender oil, something. Because sis got a smell sis has a smell and it's not pleasant that's the only thing i don't like about it if you let it sit for a long time it has like a very nasty smell like it's nasty it's gross and i'm not even like one to exaggerate so yeah so if i say it's gross <laughs> it doesn't smell good so i make sure to put like some type of lavender oil peppermint oil some type of oil to make it smell good it also like keeps it you know a little bit fresher since it's not smelling like it's rotting or anything but yeah so i would use it when i wash my hair or if i have braids like probably like once a week i would go in with like the syringe and i would just go through my roots and stuff and yeah like i said i'm gonna have a whole bunch of clips in here where you can see like okay girl like your hair has been growing okay okay inches like literally i use this stuff I first started on my edges because I wasn't sure and I'm like okay I'm just trying my edges to see if it works because that quarantine your girl ain't had no edges like <laughs> your girl ain't had no edges you know what it's sad but it's true I'm just being real with y'all but now ever since then literally like don't do my edges girl these three products right here between these two I use these together you can use these daily and these this is a good protein treatment use it when you wash your hair or use it once a week if you want to let it sit these are my hair secrets don't tell nobody <laughs> no, I'm just kidding but yes girl these will get you right you want inches down to your booty come holla at me and also i'm going to leave the link to like everything in the description down below and also i'll leave a little step by step on how to make this if that's what you guys want too so yeah that's about the end of this video like i said i wanted to be short and sweet and that's what it was so i'm glad you guys got all the information that you needed make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace